Hi, Brian Auer from feelingnegative.com and in this video episode we're going to take a look at using a rotary processor to develop uh, color film with a C41 kit. So what I've got here is a Jobo CPE2. This is a, just the real basic rotary processor without a lift. Um, what it basically is is just a big water bath with temperature control and you can store chemicals and things in it and then you place the tube in here and it, it goes around in circles and um, you know does, does its thing. So what I'm going to be using today is a, is a Jobo C41 press kit. This is just what they happen to have at the local photography store. And what it has inside is a developer. So I've got my developer here and my bath is already up to temperature. Uh, it's got a Blix, which is a bleach fix and it's got a stabilizer, which needs to be at room temperature rather than at the 38 degree C temperature for uh, the other chemicals. In here I've also got a bunch of water for pre-washes and washes and everything else. So I've got a couple of tanks and, and a couple of these guys full of water. Um, so I've already loaded my film up. I've already mixed my chemicals up. I didn't want to take you guys through all of that. But everything's ready to go, we're up to temperature, so basically the first step that we need to do according to the instructions that comes with it is a pre-wash, then we'll develop, we'll do blicks, two more washes, stabilizer, and right. So the first step we need to do is wet down the film, get it up to temperature, and that helps it with the chemicals uh, in the, later down the process. So this particular tank holds, uh, for the rotation, it holds about a little bit less than 600 milliliters, about 570. Um, for inversion, if you were going to do this by hand, it would be more than twice that. So these things are nice for kind of saving on chemicals too. So first thing we're going to do here, I'm just going to put about 600. It doesn't really matter. Uh, just plain water. Processes, give it a couple of inversions by hand uh, just to get it going, and then place it down here and start the motor running. Okay, I'm going to let that run for five minutes, um, and then when that's done, we can go ahead and start with the developer and whatnot. All right, we're about four minutes and 45 seconds into the pre wash, so it's just about time to go ahead and pour the developer in. Um, before I do that, you know. This pre-wash, it's not really, you know, it's a five minute thing, but it's not really, you know, we don't have to be spot on with it. It's not going to really hurt it to leave it in there a few seconds longer. But a few seconds before, you know, I like to get my developer out. Um, I'm going to rinse this off because I actually spilled some glicks in the bath. That way I don't drip any of it into the tank when I go to pour. And then I'll just take my lid off. Get this ready to go. Okay, so we're ready to pour this out and pour in the developer. I'm going to pour in that whole thing of developer. Okay, so we pour this out and it's green this time. And last time it was pink. Get ready to pour this in and then I'm going to hit my timer after I pour it in, do a couple of inversions and put it back on there for 3 minutes and 15 seconds. So pour it in as quickly as you can. Tap it a couple of times, lid back on, 2 or 3 inversions, set it down on there, turn it on. Alright, so we're 2 minutes and 45 seconds into the process. Now what I'm going to do is pull my blicks out. Get this ready, tip the lid off so that I can pour it in quickly. At three minutes, I'm going to start pouring this back into the developer bottle. And then at 3.15, I'm going to put the blicks in. Without, without spilling it would be best. Because I need to use it again. Okay, and we're at 315, so I'm going to go a second or two over, not a big deal, but pour in the blicks, this is nasty red stuff, mm -hmm. give it 
a couple of taps. Reset my timer. Do two or three inversions. I'm going to burp that because I didn't do it last time. And the lid blew off as soon as I put it in here. So I'm going to really pay attention to this lid. This Blix causes, it puts off CO2. And um, if you don't burp it, it'll kind of just keep expanding and blow your lid off. So, all right, we're going to do this for uh, six minutes. All right, so we're five minutes and 40 seconds or so into the process, uh, the Blix process. I'm going to go ahead and pull out my first wash, get that ready again, just like I did before. Um, at five or at six minutes, I'm going to pull this out and drain it and then put the water in and run the water for two minutes. We're going to do that twice and then we're going to do the stabilizer. So pour this without spilling it. This stuff's nasty. It stinks. It's dark. It kind of stains stuff. So be careful with it. Um, Water. Reset my timer for two minutes. And this can be approximately two minutes, at, you know, I'd say at least. Um, okay, we're just ending the second wash cycle after another two minutes. Um, so at this point, we are done with the rotary processor. And we'll go ahead and dump this out and this again it's going to be real very light pink almost nothing left in there so this the last process is the stabilizer the stabilizer needs to be done at room temperature and uh, that can just be done by hand with by hand inversion um, and after that it's done. You don't want to do anything additional. Right. So it's been about 45 seconds with the stabilizer and you notice I'm just kind of doing real easy um, rotations here. I'm, I'm kind of turning the, the drum or the tank as I tilt it back and forth and that's just to make sure that everything gets covered. Alright, so this guy's done and I'm going to keep this solution so I can reuse it. I'll pull it back in there and it's nice and clear. I don't know if you can see that. But I wouldn't expect any color out of it. Okay, so we are done developing. We can actually pull this off. And we're good to go. Pull the top off of here. It looks really light. I'm not sure if that was from the camera. Well, these ones are a little bit better. So anyways, we got results, and I'm going to go ahead and let these dry and hang them up and uh, check them out. All right, I know you guys are dying to see how the rest of these turned out, so I'm curious too, actually, um, what the deal was with that roll. So let's take a look at the rest of them. Maybe it was something I did wrong. Maybe it was just the camera. Um, looks like it was the camera. So these, these ones are nice and dark, kind of what I expect them to be. So these look really good. Turned out pretty much perfect, I think. So we'll take a look at another row here. These look good too. So, yep, the process is on. Um, you know, when they come out thin like that, I mean, it could be one or two things. It could be either you just shot it wrong or you developed it wrong. Um, I mean, it's the same same story with black and white. So here's uh, roll 120. It looks like a shot with the Diana with the smaller mask. Turned out pretty good. I had some lighter shots there at the end, but they look good. So, anyways, it works. See you guys.